for Aaron Combs. Did you feel like you had working well for you today? Uh, I think my, my fastball was kind of up in velo in the past couple outings, so I mean that was good. The curveball was good. Um, they they just were not swinging and missing a lot though, so I kind of had to deal with that. A little tight zone. It was, it was a good zone, but uh, when you don't get swings and you know you're not getting swings and misses either, or in the calls, it kind of sucks. But yeah, I, everything is always. I, I threw all four pitches today, which I liked, so throwing everything at them. So yeah. I feel like your last couple outings, you just kind of. Did, did it feel good to kind of grit through one? I know it probably was harder in the moment. But. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, coming into it, obviously, it was a little tough, and then uh, towards the end, kind of had some tough moments. But yeah, it was. I, I love being in those moments. So yeah. What was your mindset kind of stepping into that? I know they only scored two runs. So it was a big inning for them. You kind of settled the waters there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely have to stop them there. Um, it's being a close game like that. Just. Uh, Want to stop them, get get our hitters some confidence to go out and score some more runs, and you know make it not so close of a game. But uh, we did good with what we had. SEC play has been a lot smoother for you than non-conference play. You think that's just a product of you kind of missing some of those early practices with the soreness, and you finally been able to find a groove there? Yeah, definitely just the groove. I mean, finding a rhythm with my mechanics and everything definitely helped a lot. And I'm sure you faced you know Simo quite a bit and scrimmages and, and all those things throughout the fall and all that. When he's dialed in with all the different things he can do offensively, how tough of an out is he? Very tough. I mean, as, as you see, he, he like never strikes out. And when he hits the ball, he hits it really hard. So, I mean, to hit a ball like that, that's a, that's a SEMO special. Hitting, hitting one opposite field like that is pretty, pretty crazy. How impressive was Nate there at the end? Very impressive. I mean, I, I told him just get that thing in there, you know, just don't be scared. And, and he did. He, he, he did a really good job. I know you obviously want to preserve the lead when you come in in that situation, but how much do you also want to pick Kirby up and, and pick Drew up? How much are you thinking about that? When you're oh, yeah, that, that's massive. I mean, that's that's my whole job, and that's Kirby's job too, and sometimes you just don't get it done. So having someone to come in behind you and, and hopefully you, you know feel good about them coming in, so that I, I love being that guy. Sort of, you know, a lot of guys in baseball take different routes, right? You know, you went to Coastal and had some injury, then go to JUCO, then go to Tennessee, and kind of been a long ride for you. But I mean, what's it like to kind of get through all that and to kind of be here now on this team playing for this kind of stuff? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I've definitely had a, a long, interesting road for everything. So um, being here with Tennessee is just, it's an honor, honestly. Like, and coming back for a second year and just, just feeling good about being here, being being a returner is is a huge thing. So, um, you know, it's it's just great, great to be a Tennessee Vault. <laughs> yeah, it hadn't happened in your career, right? To go back. Yeah, to exactly. Yeah. Second year guy, right? Yeah, exactly. Anything else, Terry? I think they're in. Thanks. Thanks.